In India, engineering is the most favored degree by students after junior college. Irrespective of how it's going to shape their careers, both parents and students are obsessed with this choice and more than 15 lakh students graduate as engineers every year, out of which only 2 lakhs people land high paying jobs, while the rest stay unemployed or forced to settle with low end jobs in various fields. And let's be frank, whatever course you graduate from, students ultimately end up in the software sector. The chances of securing a job in your field are very less due to the lack of more core companies and the available jobs are with massive competition. Worst of all, most of the graduates lack adequate knowledge and skills in their respective fields. While the entire world is moving towards innovation, we are moving backwards. So what part does engineering education play in unemployment and slow-paced modernization in India? Even with very less success rate, why do people nevertheless choose to study engineering over other degrees? Why is it in India the demand for engineering is insane? What's the ugly truth regarding engineering no one talks about? What is the part of our education system in this mess? Where to begin? It's like a choice you never had, a nightmare you can't miss. The moment we were born, it's decided by our dear parents that we are going to be an engineer. Off the bat with no hesitation, they push us towards it, even when we aren't interested and argue that the brain isn't resisting the ape shit the tutors are feeding us. As I said, it is impossible to convince Indian parents otherwise, which ultimately forces us to give up and unwillingly join the clown parade. It is something like we were some factory-made machine products with no innovation, passion or upgrades. The sole purpose of our existence throughout the BTEC is to buy hard the decades old stupid stuff that we will never handle in our whole life. While the technology and sciences are advanced, we are plotting the designs of the model which doesn't help or barely exists anymore. These are the few reasons for the failure of an engineering degree in India. As I said beforehand, the regulations might change, but the syllabus has remained the same for decades. Engineering irrespective of field is all about innovation and thinking out of the box. But how good can an open innovative mind operate when it is confined by the by heart prison of theoretical education, in which practicality and new inventions has no place? You may think that we do lab experiments and practicals, so doesn't it count for something? First, the problem we run through is that the lab equipment and computers are so old that we sometimes give up even before attempting these senseless age-old experiments. And here is the thing. We are conducting the experiments for constant subject and expecting same results for decades without any changes. The professors who teach you might even have performed the same experiment during their graduation. And when we enter the real world and listen to the new things and technologies happening, the stuff we learn through the graduation isn't even close enough to help us to find a job, let alone the dream job. So what do we do? Decide against trying in our domain, join the software wagon by memorizing new courses, just enough to land a mediocre job. And at this point, the degree of ours worth nothing. Instead of forcing down the largely outdated curriculum which may not help anywhere in our life, why can't UGC board just focus on quality over quantity or design majority of the curriculum based on practical and innovative learning over theory? It's not solely UGC that pisses me off. The universities to which the colleges are affiliated act like they give damn about students' future. I mean if a student claims their result depend upon their luck or the mood of the evaluator, what does it say? These aren't some multiple choice bits we are talking about. How pathetic is this? To say a student could pass or fail based on their luck as we never know what the evaluators are feeling that day. If they are in a good mood, a student who might fail may just pass. If they are grumpy, even a student so confident about a top score might even fail. This feels more like extortion than education. The standards of India's most prestigious institutes, IITs and NITs that produce less than 10% of engineers every year aren't so great either. And the student suicide rate in IITs is higher than any other institution in India. Lacks of students fight to earn a seat in these institutions, even though the quality of education is diminishing every passing day. Other than the fact they bring in great companies for placements, there is nothing great about the so-called finest institutions of India. And let me remind you, everyone who studies in IITs doesn't walk out with jobs lining up for them. So why exactly does this madness from parents and students for IITs doesn't go away? When a lecturer can gain more money by just racing bundle after bundle, how can't we expect recklessness? If colleges can just buy NBA, autonomous status and later become a university, how can we expect standards and quality in education? How sorry we should be to say these are the standards of our top educational degree in India. Yet no one cares or bat an eye, but everyone wants their kids to score jobs and earn lakhs, while students are turning inside out just to earn pass marks. Even if students secure first class in engineering, they are still failed with this outdated and outlandish educational structure. 